Welcome to Travel Around Susie. Today, oh my goodness, I have to tell you, I got invited up here to Drummond Island. Oh my gosh, what an experience. The lake is gorgeous out here. This is Lake Huron. I don't spend nearly enough time on Lake Huron as I do Lake Michigan. As you notice, in my channel, I have videos about Hoffmeister Park. Sorry, that sun is really beating down on me. It feels feels really good. It's a little on the chilly side as you can notice I got a hoodie on but there's a little bit of a breeze and that sun is just beaming full. It is ready to be a nice warm day here. But anyways I don't really spend most of my time on the South Haven, Grand Haven, Holland, all on Lake Michigan and I never get, well I shouldn't say I never get, but I just have not experienced Lake Huron as much as I should living Growing up in Michigan, it was always on Lake Michigan side. Go Michigan, right? I got this opportunity to come up here to Drummond Island. What an experience. I mean, Drummond Island is just beautiful and it, it's just peaceful. It's, it's just a different way of life up here in Drummond Island. It is relaxed, everybody knows everybody. There's, there's a restaurant that I'm gonna take you later today. This lady started a restaurant out of her home and then into a little food truck trailer and then she's turned it into a restaurant. And oh my gosh, the food is amazing. If you ever come to Drummond Island, you need to go to this restaurant. Food is top notch and the service is superb. You know me, I love my food, it all shows, but that's okay. I all right guys, I am sorry I could not record the restaurant Esther that we were just at. It was packed full. I mean, the parking lot had no more spots. People were parking out almost to the road. It was crazy madhouse. The servers were running their butts off. I had another good meal. Their Wednesday special is Taco Al Pastor, which is one of my favorite tacos. And they know how to make it there. It is phenomenal. And the prices are reasonably reason, reasonable, if I can speak today. They really do have a interesting seating there. There is tons of signs like these up here. There were so many cool ones and I've been told by the locals that they will change out these signs every now and again so nothing stays the same. She had a window full of solar bobbleheads, very unique ones. And there was a gift shop next door that was full of toys that you should go check out too. I also too wanna show you some of the land around here and the roads and different kind of interests to look at and check out. If you're into Jeep or quad, up here is Jeep and quad or side by side heaven. Oh my gosh. There is lots of trails up here and lots of land to explore and i do not have the jeep or the side by side to take you down these trails but i'll show you some of the trailheads and we might walk down a few of them make sure you stay tuned for that yesterday i got out on this little it's called a sea cycle and i got the opportunity to go all around drummond island is close to Canada. Like you go over to the next island and you're in Canada. There is a short part of Lake Huron that is in Michigan and then the line Canada. It's a phenomenal place up here and it is just peaceful. Is there places to dock? I have not found any places but I have some ideas that there might be some boondocking. There is some protected land here and I'm actually right next to a wildlife keeping track of flowers and wildlife. And I, I love when I find places that are doing that because we need to preserve the habitat here in Michigan. You know, we have beautiful, beautiful habitat here. Green trees 
that are absolutely huge, big around and tall. We have some really gorgeous flowers here in Michigan. Wildlife is abundant. They say that there's a bear here. I have not seen one, but if I do, hopefully I'll get it on camera. And if you ever get a chance to come to Drummond Island, take at least a weekend. It is absolutely wonderful if you can take more than a weekend because depending on where you're coming from but it is a hike you know i do a lot of traveling down around battle creek area and kalamazoo area and grand rapids area and perch from the kalamazoo all the way up here we're looking at six hours drive across the mackinac bridge and then to a ferry is i'm not going to get the number specifically right don't judge me on this because i was doing a lot of reading on drummond island last night but the it was like 49 acres of land is drummond island and 120 of them is land and then the rest is water you know it's like half and half but it is phenomenal if you have a kayak there's a beach down the road that I, that you could park in for the day it does say it closes at sunset so you have to be out of there but you could take your kayak out there and you can ride all around the Drummond Island. It is phenomenal. Like I said, I was out on one of these sea bicycles, which basically is an elevated kayak for two people. And wonderful time, peaceful. The water in Huron up here is frigid. I cannot tell you how cold. I mean, it is cold. I really want you guys to Get out and explore the land. It is beautiful up here. The water is absolutely clear. You can see to the bottom. You can see the stones and the corals, everything. We were paddling around and we could see the trout. Oh my goodness. It is, we could just watch the fish. You could see them. It was so clear and it's beautiful. You can see that's one point of Drummond Island over there. This is like a little cove that we rode all around. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Look at how clear that water is. Absolutely beautiful. Everybody here is super friendly. We really, for Michigan people, are friendly. But when you get up closer to the Mackinac and go across, it's like life changes. Check this yacht out, guys. This is huge. Holy smokes. What a beast. This thing is huge. Well, if you could live in the van, we sure could live in that thing, huh? I wouldn't want the gas price for that bill. Sailboat. Here's another sailboat. It's a pretty sailboat. There's another sailboat over there. There's another big boat over there. Look, there's the van, right there. Kind of matches with all the white boats in here. <laughs> oh, beautiful skies today. Look at all the different little islands. And I'm not even gonna try to pretend that I know anything about any of that island, that island or that island, but there's another island over there, over there, <laughs> there, and there. Oh, so beautiful out here.
There's another trail back there. That one was through the mud. Definitely have recovery gear if you're back in here. Because cell service, Wi-Fi, is pretty much a non-existent. And I don't know if a two-way radio would work back here. I would assume that it would. But I don't have one, so I can't tell you yes or no. But I do know that I have absolutely no Wi-Fi back here and no data. close to the turnaround point here but if you have side by side or quads definitely would be some fun times there's lots of rocks on the grass area
Thanks for being so much fun. Here, in these two boxes, right over here and here, are going to be a video that is related to this video. And the other one is the one that YouTube thinks you should watch. So click into that now.